We are redoing almost 1,500 square feet of flooring in our house. If there is one thing in life that I swear houses shouldn't have as a personal preference, it's carpet. We just moved into a brand new house, so we've been here about eight months, and when we bought the house, I knew there was a lot of carpet, and I was gonna try my hardest to try and light carpet. It didn't work. So here we are, eight months later, ripping out all the carpet in our house and completely putting in brand new flooring throughout our entire upstairs and downstairs. Because flooring is quite the investment, we did a lot of research on the type of flooring we were looking to put in our home and we narrowed it down to LVP, which is Luxury Final Plank. So budget-wise, it's not a laminate pricing, but it's also not a hardwood pricing. So you kind of got in between. And because we are doing so much square footage and pretty much redoing our entire house, quality and wearability was extremely important to us. And we found our flooring at Lowe's. They delivered 85 boxes on a pallet for a small fee. It was so worth it. We went with the SmartCore Lanier Hickory flooring, which is a thick waterproof interlocking flooring. So installation is very DIY friendly. And I am all about a light color flooring because it doesn't show dirt and track as bad as dark colors. Keep that in mind when you're picking up flooring. If you don't want to see every little speck of dust, go with a lighter flooring. So this flooring is a beautiful caramely warm colored tone with knots. And I love knots in flooring. And in today's vlog, I am going to share with you our entire process on how we went and installed all of our vinyl planking as well as our brand new wooden staircase. So because we are doing a LVP on the flooring, um, I actually was not interested in putting LVP on our staircase. I wanted a pure wood pretty staircase. So we are transitioning from the LVP to the wooden staircase. And the best thing about this entire project is we are saving probably just under $20,000. Crazy! When we were at some of the flooring stores talking to specialists, they said on average it costs almost six to eight dollars per square foot for someone to install it. And on average it costs two to three hundred dollars per stair if you're redoing a staircase. Yeah. That's insane. So if you're looking to DIY your flooring and or completely redo a staircase, follow along in my vlog as I will show you our entire process and all the tools and materials that we use in order to renovate all the flooring and stairs in our home. The very first room we are doing is our walk-in master closet. So we just put this closet together when we moved in about seven months ago. So now we get to tear it all down so we can get rid of the carpet. That's okay, it shouldn't be too hard. These towers and stuff come apart pretty easy. Let's do it! Yes! Yes! Adios. All right, you guys, it's beginning! Holy cow, look at that! Oh! Floor just snaps together pop it in place and then we have a few tools here that we use. It's kind of loud in here when he's working obviously <laughs> but I wanted to show you the tools we got here um, to make this go really smooth and easy. So this right here is a pull bar which helps him pull this into the next one coming this way. And then this one is a tongue and groove block and then that helps him tap it in this way along the long edge. And this is like a flooring mallet. And then I will show you, he cuts all the planks with just this razor and a T-square. So I just wanna show you quickly how easy it is to cut LVP with just a razor, basically. We just have a speed square, and he made his mark, and he literally scores it a few times. Okay. Then he just takes it, and it snaps, just like that. And we got a clean edge, and puts it in place. Ta-da! Just like that. Super easy, right? Yeah. So we're getting to the end now. We're matching this up to our bathroom, which we just laid a new tile in. So we're having to do a transition strip in here because this is higher than our flooring. We would have loved to like made this all flush, but it just wasn't an option. We're installing our transition strip right now, which is bi-level so that 
this is higher than the wood, so the transition will offset that. And here's outer dote. So now there is a nice strip between the tile and our flooring. The room is done! We're working on trim. I'm obsessed. I love, love, love our flooring. And we're putting in four and a half inch baseboard trim here. New, new trim for everything. All right, you guys, all the trim work in here is done. All the nail holes are filled and painted. So now, next is caulking the top here. There you go, you can see I just finished putting caulking on this side. This side is not finished. Nice and sealed on the top of the trim. All right, and just like that, the closet is back together with brand new flooring. It looks so much cleaner, nicer, just like everything. And Ozzy's digging it too. And if you guys want to learn more about how we redid our entire master closet before we did the flooring, because we put in all these closet drawers, so the cabinets, like all of this, we uh, went with a closet made closet system and I did an entire blog on it. We absolutely love it. It looks so much better than what we used to have. We had all wire like shelving in here, which I hated. And also we just completely redid all our flooring in our bathrooms. And so here's what it was before and this is what it looks like now. We love this pretty marble hexagon tile. Um, we installed it all by ourselves. It is gorgeous. So things are coming together. We did all the trim work. So next up is our master bedroom. There it is, gutted and ready for flooring. So I just wanted to quickly show you a little trick here. Um, so we're getting to the end here of this run. And as you can see, we have this tiny little piece left and the Flooring runs with the wider edge here. So instead of having to take a tape measure and line it up and take a measurement of this edge, um, here's a little trick. So you take your next piece, you flip it completely around so that the long edge is on the inside and then you line it up exactly where you want it laid. You make a mark right at the seam, don't cut it. And then you can move forward with cutting the piece And then you turn it back around so that the long edge is back to where it should be and you tap it in. So that's a nice little trick so you don't have to get out a ruler each time, take a measurement. It just makes the whole process so much easier. The floor is in. Now, I was gonna show you like the 100% transformation. <laughs> However, I have decided we're gonna do a little rearranging here in our bedroom. So you're just gonna have to stay tuned for a separate vlog. And we are gonna put in a fireplace and seating area in here since we have plenty of room in here. So the next time you see me in the vlog, we're gonna be working on our staircase. Oh my God, there it is. <sighs> So here are all our brand new stair treads and risers for our stairs. We decided to go with this oak. It's a red oak. Oak is a super hard, hard wood. And we wanted to make sure it was a quality wood. We got the square tread on the front. I know there's like bull nose, which is rounded, um, but I really wanted the square. So that will be our treads. And these are our risers. This is like the back part of the stair. Um, you just buy them like this. You can have them white or you can keep them wood so they match your stair treads. Um, we are gonna do a white riser and then this will be wood. So because this is a red oak and all our brand new flooring is a hickory, which is more yellow, the colors don't match perfectly. So red oak is a lot more red tones in it and our hickory is a lot more golden caramely tones. Um, but we knew going into this that our stair would not be exactly as our flooring, which we are 100% okay with. It's not a big deal. So I did purchase some stain because um, I'm gonna see if I can get these to turn a little more yellowish instead of such a red tone. So I bought this golden oak stain and I'm gonna test this out. And on top of the stain, I'm gonna go with a polyurethane. So we'll see how these two look on this red oak. So our stairs has this landing, so we're gonna try doing these stairs here first to see how it 
it all goes, but just to kind of give you a reference, um, as I was talking about those risers that can be white or they can be wood, the riser is this back part, and then this is your stair tread. So that's the difference when I talk about stair tread, stair riser, they're two different parts. And trust me, I knew nothing about stairs before we started doing this project, so when people were talking all this terminology, I was like, what the heck is that? So we learn as we go. I just put some of the pretty golden oak stain on this red oak, and look at that. How beautiful. So here's the difference. So this is unfinished red oak. This is with the golden oak unfinished and then this is just straight regular poly I was just curious what it would look like and it's very pink red yikes but look at this beautiful color from this golden oak it makes it so much warmer and more yellow which will match so much better to our flooring so let me show you what it looks against our flooring All right so here's our hickory flooring here's our red oak with golden oak stain look at that it's really, really nice, complements it very well. So before we put in our new stair treads, we have to cut the lip off of each of these steps because our new treads are gonna replace this, but you don't take this tread out. Um, since this is the raw framing of the stair, you have to keep this, and then you just kind of build on top of it. And we're just gonna use a circular saw for that. So we got all the little lips cut off all the stairs and honestly, that was quite difficult. <laughs> we used our skill saw as you saw, but you have to like go in first to, in order to like get your blade and so there was a little bit of this that kind of took place, but it, it doesn't matter because the new tread goes on top. But um, yes, so now everything is pretty flush. So we will be cutting our first tread and this is a tread tool. It helps you measure the exact width of your stair tread. So if the wall or something is slightly like angled or crooked, you can adjust it so you know exactly how to make your cuts so everything's nice and tight. Okay, so he puts the tool on the tread and as you can see, the walls aren't straight. So that's the angle he's got it cut off. So we just adjust our saw to the angle and cut it. And just like that, the tread is in. Look at that. So we had to angle both edges just a tiny bit, but it fits like a glove. And then for the very top platform, because wood flooring is so much thicker than this LVP, um, so what we ended up doing is running our flooring all the way out, and they make this square trim that looks like this. It's kind of like a L shape. And this is going to be for our top stair so that it transitions well with our flooring. Because if we were to like put a tread up here, we would have had to like do all these transitions. So this was definitely like the best option for the very top plate. Easy peasy. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> You're doing a good job. This tool is a lifesaver. <laughs> like honestly, all of these have been like slightly angled on the edges and look how tight they are because of this tool. Definitely need that if you're doing wood stick. This whole section is done. So we went all the way to the landing. Now we're gonna stop. So we basically dry fitted this entire area and then I'm gonna go back. We're gonna number each one so we know exactly which stair it is. Cause I wanna stain and poly all these before we put them on. Cause I don't wanna have to worry about that here cause then I have to tape everything and that just gets messy. But I can't believe how beautiful these wooden stairs are. And they're gonna be so pretty when they're stained and poly. Look at the difference. How insane, we got carpet wooden stairs it is time to stain our treads and paint the risers so this is our setup it's an absolute mess in our garage um, but first I'm gonna start with staining the treads so I always just use like a little rag this is just like an old white towel of ours and I always wear gloves because stain will not only stain wood but it likes to stain your hands and it's hard to get off so all right Let's see how it goes Ah, look at that you guys, it's so pretty. And is there anything more satisfying in life than staining wood? I absolutely love it. I love seeing how the stain pulls out the character of the wood and just gives it such 
such a pretty finish. Right, they are completely stained. So I am only putting one coat of stain on these because you can apply a second coat, but then it starts to darken, and I don't want these to go any darker. So I just made sure that I put a really good first coat on all of these. All right, it is time to officially start downstairs, and we are gonna start in our living room by tearing out this carpet and we get to move everything. We just built this fireplace and surround and now we get to take it all out. So we can put flooring in, but it'll be worth it. <laughs> Things are going so fast and I totally forgot to record so you know what our other flooring look like. And the transition, the carpet stopped like right here. So we're getting there. Last one. That's it. That's the last board, the last board in our house. How are you feeling? A little crazy right now. I know, we've done an entire upstairs and downstairs and this is the very last piece, ladies and gentlemen. You don't even understand the excitement. We are so sick of flooring. Yes! All right, so now we are getting to our landing here before we continue on down with our treads and risers. And so for this, <laughs> we're keeping it very simple. We are literally just using half inch red oak strips of wood <laughs> and cutting them to length. All right, we are starting to put our risers on our stairs. And we are using this Loctite heavy duty construction adhesive. We put a layer of this on the back. putting nails in each corner just to secure it. And all the new rises are in. I've already went through, I filled the holes on each side and then I cocked each seam on the edge here so that it's filled straight to the wall. Stair treads are going on. So you may be wondering why we don't have one here. So we put the Loctite on the bottom of the stair treads and it has to dry before you're able to walk on it. So we're gonna do every other stair so that we can still like get upstairs because this is where half our house is. So yeah, and so we put the Loctite on and then we're just putting in some tiny little nails. So we're doing two on the side, two on the side just for a double security, but oh, it looks so good. All right, we are installing our landing. And as you can see, there's a bunch of yellow stuff. That is just wood glue. We're just putting on wood glue with a trowel as we're setting these so that it helps secure it. Um, and we will be popping nails in with the nail gun as well. So first piece, there it is. This is how this is looking every other for now. So this is the wood glue we bought. We just bought a whole like gallon of it because we need to use a lot of it. And he's just using like a tile trowel in order to lay the, <laughs> in order to lay the glue down. Now we're putting nails in the edge just to like secure them. The nice thing is you cannot see the nail. They blend in really well. Everything, every inch, every piece of flooring, every piece of stair, every piece of trim, all the paint, all the things is finished. Whew. Out of all the projects I have taken on, this one, redoing flooring and stairs. I was so excited to be done with. So it was a lot of work, you guys. It was a lot of time. You need patience. But when you can save a lot of money and you're okay putting in some hard work, it is so worth it. So I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you how it all turned out.
heart is so happy. I honestly can't like stop looking at it even though it took how many weekends of our time and we've only been staring at this floor and working on it for how long. But now that it's complete, I can actually absorb it and enjoy it because I'm not like, working on it. So it's such a good feeling to not have carpet anymore. So I'm not sure if you noticed a few updates compared to what my living room looked like last time. I feel like this flooring has given our home an entirely different vibe than what we had before. So I did some updates, so I'm gonna flip the camera around and just show you. So most of the updates are all taking place in our living room here. And the cabinets were painted a terracotta brown color to kind of match my little terracotta pots but I didn't like the tone that it was giving off next to the flooring. So I decided to paint them white to neutralize them and it looks so much better against this flooring. And then I also updated my area rug that was in here, which I'm obsessed with. I purchased this rug from Boutique Rugs. I'll leave the link in the description. I love the design of just the simple black and white and it's nice and fluffy and soft. So that was another nice change. The nice thing about rugs, you can change them out and replace them whenever you want you don't have to redo an entire floor to change out a rug i found these super fluffy blankets at target which they are so soft and comfortable we love them i bought some new pillow covers these are both from amazon again i'll link them in the description this is like a faux leather and then the same with this design which matches this design on the carpet but it's inverted so this is black on white and this is white on black so i thought that was kind of cool check out this little guy down here so this is another amazon find it's a remote control holder and you just put it underneath the cushion of your couch and it just kind of hangs to the side so if you can see it's like this long piece you put it under the hold it put all your remotes on it we always have these blankets here on the edge of our couch um, so we really don't see it. I don't know about you, but I hate having remotes out. So this was a fun little must have that I saw online and I'm like, yeah, I need that. We can control the remotes because you know, everything has a remote <laughs> with this nice little couch caddy. So highly recommend if you're looking for something like that. And the stairs, so our handrail here was white before. And I thought it'd be really cool to paint it black. So it looked like metal almost and I love how it looks and the stair landing here turned out really really well again we have never done anything with stairs before so we're pretty impressed how it all turned out and how much we saved on doing all this by ourselves so if you're looking to put in lvp rip out carpet redo wooden staircase whatever it is i hope you found some helpful tips in this video on how we did it all by ourselves we are not professionals it is something anyone can do so if you have any questions at all be sure to let me know i'll leave all the links in the description of all the things that we purchased for this project and stay tuned for my next vlog we've got an office remodel coming up a bedroom update coming up and whatever else. So thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye guys.